Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name's Michaela, and today's video is going to be my 29 week update. Timmy, no. Timmy's here, Kaylin's here. Um, we're in the new house, that's why it's taking a little bit longer to upload today. Um, but I am uploading because I promised you guys I would upload every Saturday a update video, or a week update, yeah, stuff like that. So I'm just going to start off with telling you guys about her and her improvements and then I'm going to go into my symptoms for the week. So she is the size of an acorn squash, measures about 15.2 to 16.7 inches, weighs about 2.5 pounds to 3.8 pounds. She's already dreaming and she is practicing breathing by moving her diaphragm. So that's everything that she is doing. Um, that and she's getting more fat to her body because she's getting to those points where now all of her like main parts are done and now she needs to fatten up and you know start doing things on her own in the womb so now I'm gonna get into my um, symptoms there aren't that many this this week um, painful movements in my pelvic area causing my legs to give out so basically she like moves she's so low that whenever she moves sometimes she hits my nerves and my legs will give out um this happened with timmy but this happened with timmy whenever i was 37 weeks so it's happening a lot sooner now um and it doesn't like it doesn't really hurt it's just my legs go numb then the next symptom is painful breast pain that's nothing new. I've been having that since I first found out I was pregnant. But now it's because they are filling with milk. So that is continuing. Leakage, again, I talked about this last week. Um, I just am leaking milk. I did this a lot with Timothy too. Um, so I am hoping that I will be able to breastfeed like normal and all my plans will go well in that area. Then the next thing is sore throat. Um, I've had a really, really bad sore throat all week. I actually don't have it right now for some reason, but I have had a sore throat all week and it has been horrible and it uh, it's just the worst feeling ever. So that's definitely something that I've had to deal with this week that I wasn't expecting to deal with, um, but it has been horrible. And then my next symptom is painful muscles. So just like my body aches, basically. Um, this week we were also moving and packing and stuff, so that might be why. But uh, yeah, that's definitely something that I have noticed has been happening. And um, I think I just kind of need to slow it down a little bit. The next thing is it's getting hard to walk for a long time. Um, Having to go to the store and stuff is becoming harder because, you know, I'm on my feet for long periods of time and my feet hurt and swell and my legs hurt and my back hurts and everything. Are you okay, buddy? Timmy just fell and he just kind of laid there for a second and I didn't know if he was hurt or not. Okay, then the next thing is my skin is itching. My skin is itching up here. Um, it's not so much in my stomach, it's more the sides of my boobs. Um, and I itched it so bad last night that it actually started bleeding a little bit. Yeah, he's okay. He slipped on the uh, collar. But that's definitely something that I noticed um, has been happening. I haven't had itchy skin yet, but that might also be because I haven't used lotion the past few days. So I'm going to shower tonight, use a lotion, and hope that that helps. Then the last thing is tons of movements. She moves a ton and they're like hard movements, like you can't miss them. So that's something that I've noticed has been happening this week is the movements are more noticeable and this is the time that you're supposed to start um, tracking your kicks because you can feel them a lot better. But I have not been doing that because she literally never stops moving. So, yeah, with all that said, I'm going to show you guys my bump now. I wanted to quickly.
basically tell you guys that if you're between the ages of 14 and 18 and you're a first time teen mom, to fill out the link in my description if you want to be on TV. They are casting right now and they're looking for girls, so make sure you fill out that link, give all the information that they ask, and you might get contacted. So, yeah, do that if you want to. Um, I think you should. That is all for this video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope to see you on my next video.